Yeah. We actually talked any... to Go ahead, Chris, Richard sorry. Ball about that. He, he talked about his time at Peloton. Oh, yeah. um, needing to break down these barriers. He was new to the, the company and they, they just mm-hmm. started their, their program. Obviously they're not the oldest company around, um, mm-hmm. but he ran into teams that were resistant, right? And like mm-hmm. you said, you need to, you need to build trust with these people that you're going to be working with. You're, you're providing a service and you're, you're talking more about like an integrated service. You're, you're very integrated and involved in it mm-hmm. and you need to break down some of those barriers to, to build that trust. Like mm-hmm. what advice do you have for people to, to build trust with your, um, I'd say stakeholders? Yeah. Um, I think, I think the, one of the most important things to understand is also what the product development process is like for product teams and all the stages that they go through um, and all the challenges that they have. Because for many people, by the time you get to the point where you're ready to have a beta test, like the end is in sight and you've been grinding for a long time, working on something, and you're just like, you're so ready to be done, Mm -hmm. you know? And so to have someone come in and say like, well, we're gonna beta test this and we'd like this many weeks or something kind of to come in in an unintegrated way. Um, the product teams are just gonna think like, oh, you're just adding time. You know, you're just work. like, right. you're work. adding work, yeah. you're adding time. I'm not sure what value I'm gonna get for this. Like, I, you know, we know it's great. And so, and so um, I think the first thing you need to do is really have um, understanding and empathy for, for that whole process. And then, um, you know, early, um, one of the questions I think you asked me was what's the difference between like early programs and mature programs or something like that. Mm. But I would say in a, in a case like Richard's or, um, or really in mine, when I first took the team and we weren't as highly utilized, it's like, how, what are all the ways that I can add value, you know, and it's all about adding and showing value. So, um, you know, coming in and designing a program that's going to help help plug the gaps in knowledge um, around seller behavior. Like, what are what are the things that um, what are the open questions that we still have before this launches? You know, are we wondering about price point? Are we wondering about about the future roadmap? Are we wondering um, if we you know do we need to de risk QA? Like, what what would make us feel confident about this launch? And then going in there and and offering that value. So, um, so, and so much to be had, right? So much from user feedback, from just debugging perspectives. So there's a lot of value to add. And so positioning that value and and offering it um, is one way to start building trust. And I think um, the other way I think is to set yourself up for success by embracing healthy tension. This is a word that gets, passed around at Square a lot is healthy tension, which is this idea that, you know, you don't want to just say like, oh, yes, 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 all the way along the line. You do actually want people on your project team in your corner who are going to give you another perspective, question things a little bit. What about this? What about that? To get you thinking about what you may be missing. Right. And so so one of the the jokes that I have with um, with a beta manager on my team is I was like, just go in there and introduce yourself and tell them you're there to break their product with a smile on your face. <laughs> you know, you're like, I'm there to find all the things that aren't working with this, you know, with, with a team of your customers as one angle. And we're going to find all the things they love, all the things they don't love. <clears throat> and you're going to have such a better idea of what your launch is going to look like. And you're going to have, um, you know, way more confidence or, the information you need to go back and make a case to build something additional or to make a pivot. So, um, so just embracing that being in the beta space, um, you're going to, you're going to encounter some conflict with people, but not, but just, but just acknowledging that in the beginning and aligning goals in the beginning to kind of defang that a little bit is another way. 